take care of we we call a very specialist doctor uh, from different uh, medical departments uh, based on your queries based on uh, your feedbacks that we receive massively on our free of cost whatsapp platform and from the feedbacks gathered from the whatsapp platform we are very much uh, humbled by your love and by your appreciation of all these comments that uh, you share with us that how you are benefited from all these sessions uh, do keep on sharing your feedbacks with us to help us understand whether we are going in the right direction or you need something uh, additional or something different what topics you want from us how we can improve ourselves uh, so uh, at curica our aim is uh, to help you to help us build a healthy india the owners of the company dr hema satish uh, today actually is her birthday so uh, wishing dr hema ma'am a very very happy birthday from all of us here from her team who loves her so much and uh, uh, it is built by dr hema and dr satish devdas so their their dream is to make a healthy india and we are all partners in this dream to help uh, build you know high quality products for the people uh, which people can use in their day to day life these are all otc products these are not prescription based products which you can use and you can uh, lead a healthy life uh, we have got products under multiple categories and most of these products are not easily found in pharmacies or only when you uh, visit a doctor you will be able to get prescribed from uh different doctors so we help you to actually connect with the doctors directly through our free of cost whatsapp platform or if you are aware about these special products these are high quality products from premium brands you are able to identify how we can uh you you can use these products right so uh not taking much time from you i am going to uh, uh just introduce our special guest for today and it is dr deepak uh dr deepak welcome uh with us uh thank you so much sir for joining uh, us doctor doctor deepak is an orthopedic surgeon at devdas that's it before we proceed yeah yeah ji so uh, doctor the topic for uh, for our today's discussion is tennis elbow uh, very common issue with a uh, lot of people especially young youngsters who play a lot of sports and uh, we uh, have got so many feedbacks from people who want to understand uh, how they can get better with the uh, tennis elbow uh, doctor uh, we are we are not able to see you i believe there is a connection issue with uh, you uh, i mean your video is frozen so guys uh, yeah it's it's okay now i can i can hear you well i can you hear you perfectly well thank you so doctor the first question for today from uh, our listeners is what exactly is tennis elbow and why is it not limited to tennis players yeah first of all uh, good morning to the all the viewers and uh, uh, thanks rahul for giving this opportunity and uh, thanks to the hema madam as well as this sir for thank giving you. this opportunity and happy to back on uh, this platform Uh, as you chose uh, today's uh, topic is the tennis elbow correct and uh, it's a very much uh, common topic like uh, yeah. many people are suffering from the tennis elbow but they don't know about much about the tennis elbow so when they visit the doctor and all they say that they are suffering from tennis elbow they think that i don't play the tennis but how come i got the tennis elbow yeah correct so uh, this is the kind of thing uh, the people doesn't know about it so we will make aware of it and we'll take the questions uh, about the tennis elbow uh so actually the tennis elbow means uh, uh, this is a condition which affects the elbow joint okay in the elbow joint uh, we have a inner and outer part there are the two bones are there you are able to feel that one in your elbow the inside part is known as the yes doctor you are audible yes yes you are fully audible yes yeah uh, so when this muscle will get inflamed and it will pull the bone and bone will become weak and it will get inflamed and it gets swollen and it starts uh, the boarding okay. out that is known as the epicondylitis it's causing the painful lateral elbow uh, pain it will be there so this is uh, not limited to the tennis only 
it is limited to the those activities where they repeatedly use a tennis kind of activities means those who have got a gripping continuous gripping and they are lifting it with a repetitive hammering method or when they use it as like a forehand or a back stroke kind of thing where they put a more strain on the extensor that the forearm muscles group the more strain on the extensor muscles they put it and that will cause as the lateral epicondylitis at the elbow joint so this is not limited to only to the tennis but it is more commonly seen in the tennis player first identified in the tennis player because of their faulty technique because of the faulty grip the faulty uh, kind of the racket they were using it because of the heavy racket and all and they are mm -hmm. not uh, properly training themselves and they are putting more back strokes that will put a more strain on the this forearm muscles that was yeah. causing the pain on the outer aspect of their elbow joint and that is known as the tennis mm -hmm. yes rahul are you able yeah. to hear me yeah, yeah. Uh, in between, doctor, your voice uh, was not audible. In between, we are not able to hear you. We can't. We can't hear you right now, doctor. Yes. 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 Uh, so we lost your voice in between, doctor. Uh, so the yes. last part we were not able to hear. If you can please repeat what you said in the last sentence. Uh, no, the last sentence. What I was saying is, it is not restricted to only the tennis player, but it yes. was first identified in the tennis player because of the faulty grip and the faulty racket and the faulty stroke they were playing. Yes. So they had a more pain on the outer aspect of their elbow joint. Mm -hmm. So this was recognized as a uh, lateral epicondylitis, which is known as a tennis elbow, commonly known as a tennis elbow. Understood. Understood, doctor. So moving on, doctor. Uh, so can you please describe the common symptoms of tennis elbow and how can someone differentiate it from some other conditions? See, uh, there are many things which occurs around the elbow joint. Uh, the first common symptom what the patient will feel is the pain in the outer aspect of the elbow joint, especially the, uh, the outer bony prominent that is called as the lateral epicondyle. So this occurs whenever they do the repetitive action such as gripping or uh, a kind of uh, lifting the weights and all and hammering kind of things so mm. these all uh, uh, the kind of pain is seen not only in the tennis player but also in the other people where they do this kind of activities especially mm. the plumbers the electricians the housewives because they're uh, doing the sweeping activity doing the kitchen work kind of thing or lifting the kids lifting the weights and all so that put the more strain onto their forearm and that will cause the pain. So first patient will notice the pain whenever they do the repetitive activity, their grip strength uh, started mm -hmm. losing because whenever they put a gripping on anything, so they will yeah. feel the pain. So they start yeah. losing the grip. So their grip strength will come, comes down. <clears throat> Sometimes they recognize some redness or a swelling on the outer aspect of their elbow. Sometimes mm -hmm. they may have a radiation pain, so uh, tingling and numbness kind of things. So okay. that indicates commonly the lateral epicondylitis. So the most common differential diagnosis we need to differentiate it from the tennis elbow is the radial tunnel syndrome. There is one nerve, the radial nerve, which comes from the uh, arm to the forearm. It enters through the one of the muscle called a supinator through the one arcade of a process, which is the uh, kind of a muscle tunnel. So whenever it passes through that one, there will be compression of the uh, nerve between the two heads of the muscles. So that will also mimic as the lateral epicondylitis. But in this scenario, the patient will have more of a tingling, numbness, so radiation kind of pain or electric uh, shock sensation kind of thing they will feel it. Hmm. Right. Yes. Okay. Is there uh, lag, uh, Rahul? Video lag is there? Yeah, yeah, it looks like there is a slight lag which is there because of some uh, network issue uh, today. Uh, right. So, uh, doctor, moving on, uh, what are the primary causes or risk factors that lead to the development of any syndrome? Uh, the primary causes, as you said, uh, uh, I already told it is the, uh, it may be a genetic condition that people may be uh, having this condition in their family also, they will be more prone to get it and uh, those uh, people who are indulged into the activities such as uh, tennis or any sports activity which will have more uh, gripping and repetitive actions 
and uh, as i said it is common in a housewife or those who are doing the typewriting kind of work vibration kind of work electricians plumbing work so these people will tend to have more uh, this sort of pain even it is seen in uh, 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 the cricketers uh, the even the famous sachin tendulkar had uh, the skinny elbow uh, the, so uh, because he has to uh, use the pads he used to repeatedly use the heavy pads and to have a repetitive action of a back stroke and four stroke so that used to put a more strain on his outer aspect of the elbow understood doctor okay uh, now doctor sir are there any uh, preventative measures or exercises that individuals can do uh, to reduce the risk of tennis elbow especially if they have a very active lifestyle see uh, especially for the sports people they have to have a 555 the rule of 555 they have to mm. uh, follow it because mm. uh, uh, what it says is 5 minute you need to do the uh, the warm up exercises with the aerobics uh, mm. that will increase the blood circulation to the all the portions of their uh, body and second thing is the uh, the 5 minute warm up stretching exercises which will uh, not put a ligament stand down into the strain condition so that it will stretch and properly it will have a stretch and again there is will be a 5 minute practice session they have to do it before indulging into the main activity so if they follow this uh, rule of a five uh, that will be helpful for the sports people to avoid this uh, tennis elbow and uh, especially if it is common in the tennis player they have to use a proper kind of a racket so they should not uh, the ideal age the ideal size and ideal weight of the racket should be there for the individuals and should have a grip uh, the proper gripping also you should have it see whenever you grip it you should not completely make a fist out of it whenever you make a grip there should be a one finger breadth between your fingers and other uh, uh, the thumb so whenever you hold something like that you make a one finger uh, gap between this one so when you have a proper grip method and a proper weight of your racket is there and when you use the properly and train your muscles then definitely the chances of getting your tennis elbow will be less and this is applicable to the, all the people those who tend to have it like especially the housewife also they can do this kind of exercises at their home by stretching it doing the warm up exercises and strengthening the muscles by doing some physiotherapy activities as well so that it will avoid uh, the tennis elbow right right thank you so much i am sure that is quite helpful for a lot of people dr deepak uh now doctor uh, could you please explain the importance of early diagnosis and treatment for tennis elbow and what are the potential consequences of neglecting it uh actually if you see the pathology what is the main problem in this one is that when they put a more strain on to the muscles the muscles which are attached to the outer aspect of the elbow they tend to get degenerated there will be a tear will be there and they started getting degenerated and the tendon will start with a, a inflammation there will be a lateral epicondylitis so the body starts to heal it by forming the uh, more fibroblast angiogenesis the blood supply to that area so it slowly <coughs> start becoming swollen so so whenever they start doing this activity they will get a more pain and all so right. so if they don't take that proper treatment and not all so what will happen is that will become a tenodesis so there will be a, a tendon degeneration without a inflammation so that is called a tenodesis and uh, moreover the tear will progress as well and uh, their grip strength will decrease and uh, every time they use their activities they will have a more pain so the best diagnosis is that whenever they get a pain and all better to visit the orthopedician and get on your uh, x rays where it will show some of the bone flex formation which will indicate there is a lateral epicondylitis and uh, if it is in the early stage we are not able to diagnose it better to undergo the mri scan where it will shows the muscle uh, degeneration changes or the tear where it is extending or progressing we can uh, score according to that and uh, depending on what stage of uh, disease you are then we can uh, give a treatment protocol for that Yes, Rahul. We lost you. Rahul, what layer? Ah, yes. 
ஆஹ் எஸ் ராகுல் Doctor, are there any misconceptions about tennis elbow that you would like to clarify? Uh, first of all, it is not restricted only to the tennis players. Now it has become a common those who do the repetitive uh, handling, lifting and uh, repetitive activities. Elbow, and, uh, mm. elbow movements and the forearm mm. movements. And uh, uh, they should not neglect uh, this kind of... Uh, Uh, condition whenever they get a pain they should not think that it is because of the simple um, the pain it may go up and all so mm. there will be a tear in that muscles which will mm. progress and uh, the grip of your uh, hand will be lost you will get a more of tingling and numbness in your hand and the soreness will around the elbow joint will progress and that will lead to the stiffness and uh, uh, their activity level will be uh, goes on decreasing so uh, i feel they should not neglect whenever they get this kind of a pain right so doctor what are the non surgical treatment options available for tennis elbow and how effective are they uh, actually it is very uh, a tricky and a peculiar uh, thing uh, to treat the tennis elbow the, even the sachin tendulkar went to uh, united kingdom london to get it uh, treated by the experts and all but still he couldn't find the exact solution to it but usually the stage of uh, the treatment protocol in the stages is that in early stages when we diagnose and uh, they say that they have a tennis elbow we tend to treat them with a rest they have to give a rest to their activity of repetitive lifting and hammering thing of things so that it will allow the muscles tear to heal up by itself so that uh, whatever inflammation is going on it will come down and to counter effect that uh, muscle pulling or stretching they can use the tennis elbow brace just below uh, their elbow joint around the muscle group so that it will support the muscles around that elbow so they will it will not allow them to more progression of the tear or a degeneration and uh, on top of that we need to add the uh, nsaids that the pain killers they need to take as well as uh, some of the collagen uh, peptides they need to add up which are uh, very much are available in the cureka website they can yeah. order from there and uh, where uh, it will help in the regeneration of the uh, that uh, tear and all so that faster healing of the tear will be there right With thank the you the first stage of the treatment is over second stage we tend to yeah. give them is a physiotherapy okay. where they, uh, where we allow them to get an ultrasonic therapy where they will give a electric shock wave treatment around their uh, uh, lateral epicondyle where there is a tear and inflammation will be reduced they can apply some ice packs which will reduce the inflammation in the early part later they can use the hot fomentation which will increase the blood supply in a physiotherapy they need to use the stretching exercises the physiotherapist will uh, tell them some basic exercises which will stretch their uh, muscles around the elbow joint No. and uh, once that stage is over then we will allow them to progress with the muscle strengthening uh, uh, physiotherapy stage so this is the treatment protocol for the, uh, the tennis elbow and yes. uh, the last one reserved to be a surgical treat hmm. understood doctor so that's quite uh, insightful i'm sure a lot of people would have benefited from this so guys there are a lot of points that dr deepak is suggesting that you can take up yes actually uh, provided a very step by step approach into how you can avoid surgery and pre uh, uh, take a pre surgery uh, non surgical treatment for your tennis elbow uh, moving ahead uh, when is when is surgical intervention necessary for tennis elbow doctor and uh, what does the recovery process typically involve uh, before the surgical intervention we have an option of it two things one is a uh, Uh, usually the many surgeons give a steroid injection around that lateral epicondyle okay uh, earlier they used to start uh, giving a steroid injection without addition of a local anesthetic some people add local anesthetics along with the steroids in the steroids also we have a different compositions uh, uh, so commonly used are the canapod or a depomedrol they use it and they can inject around that uh, uh, the tender spot and uh, this can be done either uh, uh, in a clinic or under ultrasonic therapy where exactly they can know the exact tender point and they can inject that one. but one should not inject subcutaneously because there will be a discoloration around the skin below hmm. 
and right. one should not use repeatedly the steroid injection because it yeah. will not heal actually it will deteriorate the condition because it will uh, cause more tear and more degeneration the tear will not uh, repair at all it will not regenerate uh, at all so but they will get a relief of a pain but it will not regenerate and they will have a tend to have a progression in the future uh, so right. second option we have is the injection prp this is uh, already i spoke this prp is a trending one so where we use a platelet rich plasma mm -hmm. the blood of the uh, the venous blood of the patients has been taken and it is put it into the centrifugation uh, machine where we separate the cells and the plasma later platelet is mixed into the plasma and it is injected into the um, that uh, tender spot of the outer aspect the elbow see this has got a, a platelets have got a healing potential and it will helps in the faster healing of this uh, tear or degeneration part uh, of the the, the uh, ecrp muscle right. and these are the uh, surgical intervention is the first injection we give if they not get relieved uh, with a prp injection of one or two dose per month then we advise them to undergo a surgical intervention where it is either a open or a arthroscopic assisted uh, release of the extensor carpi radialis brevis muscle uh, so either you can do it by the direct visualization by opening with 5 cm of incision or you can do it by the keyhole surgery like a arthroscopic surgery in arthroscopic surgery patient will have a quicker recovery and uh, uh, less scar as well and in a open uh, cases uh, the the patient the recovery will be little delay so usually we ask them to have a uh, 3 weeks of the rest of the period after that again 3 weeks of the physiotherapy then over 2 months the patient will have a complete relief of the pain mm -hmm. understood doctor so uh, thank you for sharing that doctor i'm sure that's quite helpful for a lot of people uh, can you please share some tips for individuals who are dealing with tennis elbow pain on how to manage their daily activities and minimize the discomfort that comes with tennis elbow pain so, uh, once we identified that, that they have a tennis elbow and it is mainly because of the repetitive uh, the hammering kind of or yeah. gripping kind of uh, activity so first they need to give a activity hmm. modification they have to change their lifestyle hmm. definitely we should have a lifestyle modification and they should avoid that one if there hmm. are uh, uh, no chance to avoid it at least we have to reduce their activity level so they have to take in between a lot of uh, uh, the, the gap or a break in between their uh, activities uh, so that the muscles will get a little more time to heal as well as rest and it will not uh, uh, wear much faster so mm. second thing is that uh, regularly they need to take the pain medication if their unbearable pain is there then yeah. they can use the ice pack at their home as well as they have a ultrasonic therapy at the physiotherapy center which will right. also they right. can undergo and uh, meantime they need to stretch the muscles properly uh, so that uh, the circulation will improve and once the pain is healed <clears> they can improve their muscle strength by going through the physiotherapy uh, the center right right understood doctor and and what about doctor that uh, normal uh, uh, next uh, question uh, typically would come about athletes and sports enthusiasts how can they modify their training routines to prevent tennis elbow while staying active that's what i told you that uh, uh, they got this tennis elbow because there are already genetic prone conditions mm -hmm. and uh, that we cannot change this. second thing is mm -hmm. that it is because of the faulty activities or the faulty training which is led mm -hmm. to the tennis elbow so mm -hmm. the, the racket what they are using is not ideal for their age and uh, uh, type of activity they are doing they have to change the racket and the grip strength the whatever grip uh, the method they are using that may be the wrong technique okay and uh, uh, before starting of the game they are not following the rule of a five so they have to uh, get it warmed up uh, do the aerobics and the stretching that comes is the stretching of the ligaments and the muscles around the joints where they are commonly using then have mm -hmm. a proper practice session of a five minutes then they have to indulge into the activity not suddenly jumping into the any activity so mm -hmm. if they get that kind of a pain unbearable if they cannot modify also at least they can take a break in between and uh, you know, once they get improved then they can uh, move into the higher level of activities and top of that uh, better to use the brace around their uh, elbow joint so that it will support the muscles uh, from uh, helping from the further tear to happen and take a medication ice pack and ultrasonic therapy along with the these basic steps 
Understood, doctor. And guys, a lot of braces are available on Cureka. If you go through Cureka.com, we have got braces from all the top brands, you know, Tynor, Visco, Flamingo, Dyna, Aircast, you know, uh, all the top brands, braces are available on Cureka. You can go there, visit the portal and uh, uh, connect with a care expert in case you need a suggestion on how to use the brace. So free of cost suggestions are available on WhatsApp platform. As Dr. Uh, Deepak has informed us that, okay, we, we need to have the right technique and follow the method of five. So follow those methods and you'll be able to overcome uh, tennis elbow pain. Uh, so moving ahead, doctor. Uh, so can you discuss the role of physical therapy and rehabilitation in the treatment of tennis elbow and what exercises are typically recommended? Mm, as I told, uh, this plays a very important role uh, in case of a tennis elbow because this is uh, offered because of the pole tight training only. So with mm. the physiotherapy center and the physiotherapy method, we can avoid as well as we can prevent and from the further progression. So yeah. one thing they need to do is that uh, proper stretching of their muscles and the ligaments around the elbow joint, wrist joint mm. and the shoulder joint and yeah. do the basic aerobic exercises and uh, proper warm up exercises so that it will increase right. the circulation and mm. increase the flexibility of the muscles so that they will have uh, proper reflexes around the joint. And mm. the third thing is that uh, they need to strengthen the muscles by going through the, uh, the, the strengthening uh, protocol of the physiotherapy. Right. which starts with the normal uh, weights to the higher weights. They need to have a proper stretching exercises, push-pull activities and all. So mm -hmm. once they do that one, uh, so definitely this kind of thing can be avoided or it can be uh, prevented. Understood, doctor. Uh, so, doctor, uh, what are the latest uh, advancements or treatments in the field of orthopedics that may benefit individuals with tennis elbow? Uh, the advancement what we are planning uh, happening is is uh, one is uh, uh, as I told arthroscopic release uh, of the, the inflamed tissue and mm. that will uh, uh, have a keyhole kind of a surgery with less scar and less blood loss and uh, that it's a kind of a daycare procedure that they can mm. come in the morning and go in the evening and yeah. the second thing is the uh, the most commonly followed nowadays is the PRP injection instead of a steroid injection because steroid injection has got uh, many complications like systemic as well as local, but PRP will not have that much of a complication. So the PRP injection is the uh, is giving the better results as well. Uh, so if they have a uh, good outcome out of it, uh, so they can take it every month, the injection for a three months follow-up. So we usually inject uh, hardly two to four ml of the PRP injection into the tender spot and along with that the physiotherapy and all they can follow it so it will not have much of the complication and a faster recovery and the latest trend uh, what we are following is the stem cell therapy even uh, uh, they are planning for uh, using the stem cell therapy because uh, the stem cells have got uh, vast uh, uh, healing potentials when mm. we uh, uh, recruit and take the stem cells from the individual and inject into that part so the whatever uh, the tissues which are uh, uh, degenerated or tired and uh, happen, they will uh, fast, recover faster and they will regenerate and this inflammation will be avoided. Wonderful, wonderful doctor. So, uh, doctor, uh, finally, uh, for someone who may be experiencing tennis elbow symptoms, what are the steps they should take to seek the proper diagnosis and proper care? The proper diagnosis, uh, we need to follow with some of the investigations. The first one is the X-ray, where in the X-ray, it may show some of the flex of the bones around the lateral epicondyle or a soft tissue swelling uh, kind of thing. So in the early stages, X-ray may not be useful. In that case, we need to take the MRI scan, where in the MRI, it will show that there will be a bone edema uh, because of the pull of the muscles <clears> on the bone. The bone will uh, have kind of inflammation and it will be more of eddy matters and there will be some kind of a fluid collection will be there. Mm. And in the muscle part, we can recognize there will be a tear and a degeneration part in the different uh, forms of the films we can see in the mm. MRI. Right. One ultrasonography also, the people tend to have it. It becomes uh, uh, in the expertise, uh, expert people hands only were able to diagnose it. Otherwise, mm. MRI scan is the better to diagnose the MRI, uh, the tennis cell board. So Great. once they get diagnosed and all, the treatment protocol follows according to the, what kind of a stage they are. Like in right. early stages, they need to uh, have a, uh, there is a lifestyle modification, activities mm -hmm. and all. Use the brace, 
and the painkillers, the ice pack, mm -hmm. and uh, follow the physiotherapy protocol so that they will have a proper stretching and a strengthening of the muscles. Right, right. Understood, doctor. So, doctor, that's a fabulous session for a lot of people across India. Uh, today, we have seen increased audience uh, on the Instagram. Also, a lot of people have uh, come to hear your uh, insights into tennis elbow. I'm sure uh, a lot of people will be benefited out of it. Thank you so much. And uh, we look forward to connecting with you again uh, sometime in the future uh, with a new topic that our audience wants to hear. And uh, we wish you a very, very happy weekend, doctor. And uh, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Rahul. Thank you. Uh, I will be happy to uh, back to the next uh, uh, session with a good number of questions and a good topic. So sure. thank you once again. And uh, happy to meet you again. once. Thank you so much, doctor. Take thank care. You. Thank you. So guys, uh, that was a great session with a very specialist doctor, Dr. Deepak. He's an orthopedic surgeon at Devadas Hospital, Madurai. It's a, one of the most prestigious hospitals in entire South India. The first uh, hospital in South Tamil Nadu to do robotic surgery to implement and incorporate the robotic surgery technique. So uh, guys, uh, if you're in South Tamil Nadu and in need of some specialist services, especially in uh, multiple departments like orthopedic, diabetes, uh, pediatric, uh, cardiologist, I mean, they, they've got the expert doctors for you. And uh, for Curica guys, uh, I mean, we are humbled by the love that we are getting from you and uh, we'll request you to keep on uh, showering your love and your queries to us uh, in the WhatsApp platform by sharing your comments in the comment section in the Instagram so that we can uh, listen to your feedbacks on how we can improve, what we can do for you. We've got, uh, we keep on adding more and more uh, specialist products which are handpicked by a team of expert doctors for you so that you know you can lead a healthy life we have added enormous range in skin care hair care nutrition pain management elderly care wellness uh bb care maternity care uh, and sexual wellness products so guys uh, do look into all these uh, products and uh, uh, see what products fit for your healthy life and if you've got any questions just let us know uh, so with this i would like to thank you for joining us today uh, until our next session our next session is typically we keep one session on wetness days uh, with a, spe a specialist alternate th therapy specialist or a health coach and we keep try to keep a session on saturday at 11 a.m every week so that you connect with the best doctors to help you answer your queries so until then thank you very much here is your host for today rahul nanwal wishing you a very very happy weekend take care guys and wish you a very very happy weekend bye